MZ and on this segment of T21 we talk exclusively about motorcycles and motorcycle related subjects and that's today what brings me to you a motorcycle related subject I want to talk to you about Yamaha's TPS throttle position sensor on a nutshell that will tell the bike how much you're pushing the throttle and how much fuel it needs to deliver the problem is Yamaha a few years ago said that their TPS's in some ranges of serial numbers are faulty so they issued a recall a lot of bikes out there did not do the recall so they're still using the old TPS's and there's something that I advise you if you are within those ranges to go and change but first things first where is the TPS how can you check if yours is in the faulty line or not and how can you adjust it in case you need to down below I'm gonna put a link for you to check if your bike is within the recall or not and I'm also gonna put another link that's gonna tell you the serial numbers of the faulty ones so if you check the first one and your bike is not within the recall still check the second one check the faulty line serial numbers compare with yours and if you are within that range take your bike to a Yamaha dealer see if you can still get a TPS for free under the recall or if not check online and buy one or buy one directly in your Yamaha that is not within the faulty line and you are gonna prevent problems in the future but first things first where is the TPS and how can we check if you are within the range of values that the manual say are correct and of course how to remove it for you to check the serial number the TPS is this part right here and if you need to adjust the values just unscrew ever so slightly the top screw the bottom screw and that will allow you to swivel the sensor up and down and that will change the values by doing so you can readjust your TPS in case you are out of values if you need to replace it just unscrew the bottom unscrew the top this is a plug take off the plug put in the new one and you're good to go for you to access the diagnostics on your bike you need to consult your manual I will explain on this bike on this specific model which is the XT 660 R and X it will work exactly the same way first thing you need to do is to press the kill switch then press select and reset do not release and turn your key to on wait keep pressing you just entered diag you can go to CO or diag if you press up or down this is the one we want let's press again both buttons D01 is what's reading your TPS mine is 17 and if I open the throttle it goes all the way to 92 according to manual our TPS is out of values going down back to 17 which is within values our TPS is not causing any problems at this moment but it is within the faulty area it is within the faulty range of serial numbers it will need to be replaced to get out of diag just turn your key to off now that you checked everything now that you know if you are within the faulty line or not you know what you need to do you know that you just need to replace the part in case you need to fuel up and enjoy and if you don't need to do anything you learn something new fuel up enjoy and you might just save a friend down the line that has a problem with this on the specific bike this is an XT 660 R as I said before but the TPS's go for many different models of Yamaha's so please do check and please prevent yourself from having problems in the future as for us at T2 wine we'll see you guys next Saturday